Hi welcome to our next session in this session we are going to talk about the call to discipleship Jesus begins by saying all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me when you read in Matthew 28:18 now this means Jesus is in charge of everything he has the power over all things in heaven as well as on earth In the book of Philippians 2 from 9 to 11 it says therefore God exalted Jesus to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledged that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of God and the Father this shows that Jesus authority is recognized everywhere it is beyond the heaven and beyond the earth his authority is everywhere next jesus tells his followers to go and make disciples of all nations in matthew 28 19 we read that a disciple is someone who learns from and follows jesus jesus wants everyone everywhere to hear about him and follow him In the book of Mark 16:15 Jesus says, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation." This means we should share the good news about Jesus with everyone, no matter where they live. One of my spiritual mentors used to tell me that when I was ministering in India, he would tell me that the population of India is so big that anybody if they have the faith and if they have the consistency and if they have a good prayer life they could start church anywhere because the gospel is accepted when you pray and when you seek god god will give you the power to preach the gospel and when the when there is a power in your preaching people will accept that jesus also says to baptize the new disciples when you read in matthew 28:19 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit baptism is a way of showing that someone believes in jesus and wants to follow him in acts 2:38 peter tells the people very important thing he talks about repentance he says repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins Now baptism is a sign of starting a new life with Jesus. Now baptism cannot be done without repentance. One has to repent. Now repent is turning away from sin and towards God. So the true repentance is turning away from sin completely. And when a person repents, then that person is eligible to go into the next step and that is taking the baptism. Jesus wants his followers to teach new disciples to obey everything. In Matthew 28:20 it says obey everything I have commanded you. This means we should help others understand and follow Jesus teachings. In John 14:15 Jesus says if you love me keep my commands. Following Jesus means living the way he taught us to live. Finally Jesus promises and he says in Matthew 28:20 and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age this means jesus always be with us as we do his work we are never alone in hebrews 13:5 god says never will i leave you nor will i forsake you now this verse gives us comfort and courage to keep sharing the good news about jesus these points from the great commission guide us into our mission to spread jesus teaching jesus authority the call to make disciples the act of baptism teaching obedience and his constant presence are the key parts of this important instruction now one important thing is the personal testimony and the call to follow jesus now what is a personal testimony a personal testimony is the story of how someone came to know jesus and decided to follow him it is a powerful way to show how jesus changed their lives by sharing that testimony or the story of our testimony we can help others understand the impact jesus has on us 
usually testimony when you share the testimony it is very easy to communicate and contact with the people once you share the testimony i have always seen that once you share the testimony it becomes very easy for people to receive the gospel in acts 22:6-8 verses paul shares his testimony about meeting jesus he says that about noon as i came near to damascus suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed around me i fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me saul saul why do you persecute me who are you lord i asked i am jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting he replied this was a turning point in paul's life and not only paul's life whoever heard this testimony they believed in jesus our testimony plays an important role when we share about jesus how jesus calls us just like paul each of us has a unique story of how jesus called us jesus can call us in many different ways sometimes it is through a powerful experience like paul and other times it's through quiet moments or influenced by the friends or the family members in john 10:27 jesus says my sheep listens to my voice i know them and they follow me when we hear his voice we can choose to follow him now what is the change that jesus brings when we decide to follow jesus our lives our lives are changed paul who once persecuted christians became one of the jesus most faithful followers his story shows how jesus can transform anyone when you read in second corinthians 5:17 it says therefore if anyone is in christ the new creation has come the old has gone the new is here this means that when we follow jesus we become new people leaving our old ways behind the power of sharing our testimony sharing our testimony can encourage others to start their own journey with jesus Our stories can show others that Jesus is real and that he can change lives. In the book of Revelation 2:11 it says they triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony. This shows that our testimonies are powerful and can help others overcome their struggles. The important is called to follow Jesus. Jesus invites everyone to follow him. He says in Matthew 4:19, "Come, follow me." and i will send you out to fish for people this means jesus wants us to join him and help others know him too in matthew 6:24 jesus also says whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me following jesus means living for him and not for ourselves sharing our personal testimony and the call to follow jesus helps others see how jesus can change their lives our stories like paul can inspire and encourage others to listen to jesus call and begin their own journey of faith let's study about the practical steps to begin your discipleship journey the first is read the bible and pray daily the first step in our discipleship journey is to spend time reading the word of god which is the bible and praying every day the bible is god's word and through it we learn about jesus and how to live as his followers prayer is how we talk to god and stay connected with him in john 15:5 jesus says i am the vine you are the branches if you remain in me and i in you you will bear much fruit apart from me you can do nothing now this means that just as branches need to stay connected to the vine to grow and produce fruit to produce fruit we need to stay connected to jesus through his word and prayer to grow in our faith the second step is to find a community of believers like a church or small group or a bible study group where you can receive support and encouragement being around other christians help you grow in your faith and provides accountability in hebrews 10th chapter the 24 and the 25 verse it says and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching this means we should meet regularly with other christians to encourage each other and help each other to do good things 
The third is serving others and sharing your faith. The final step is to look for opportunities to serve others and share your faith. Jesus came to serve and to give his life for us and he calls us to follow his example by serving others. In the book of Mark 10:45 Jesus says, "For even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to live his life as a ransom for many." This means that Jesus although he is the son of God came to serve others and gave his life for us. By serving others and sharing the good news about Jesus, we follow his example and live out our call to be his disciples. Starting your discipleship journey involves these practical steps: reading the Bible and praying daily to stay connected with Jesus and joining a community of believers for support and encouragement and serving others and sharing your faith to follow Jesus example. By taking these steps, you can grow in your faith. and become a devoted follower of Jesus Christ